Welcome back to the 411 on 93 KHJ's Island Television 10. My name is John Rayner, and this week's guest is the Honorable Gunner, Governor Toniola Tulafono. Governor, thank you uh, very much. John. I know you've been real busy the last couple weeks after the, uh, the news, and I appreciate you taking time to, to come on the program with us. It's good to have you back. Thank you. It's my pleasure. All right. So, well, let's go ahead and get into our questions for today. Um, given that uh, Chicken of the Sea, one of the major economic forces of the territory, is closed, does uh, the government have any plans to supplicate this loss of revenue for the island? It's going to be very difficult, John. Um, the revenues coming into the island from several ways through the canneries are not easy to, uh, to replace or replicate. Uh, cannery operations, of course, are unique operations and uh, the industries that uh, follow it around and support the, uh, the, that uh, industry are also not the kinds that we can just replace. However, Having said that, um, I have uh, asked uh, Mr. Barry Mills that when his contract is finished with Starkist, that he will uh, work with me as a uh, fisheries advisor to look at ways on at least, at the very least, uh, maintaining a fisheries presence uh, for two reasons. Uh, we live in, in the area where there's a lot of uh, uh, fish and fish is a one of our main resources around these parts of the world. So we're looking at a uh, couple of things, uh, potentially uh, a cannery operation if it's uh, sensible. However, as we look into that more and more, uh, the less and less we are encouraged because of the way the, the business now, uh, you know, sort of graduated, you know, where companies are now able to go back and do business in the United States and be a lot more profitable and a lot more efficient, you know, at, and at the same time get the benefits of the world's low-wage countries to, to help enhance those profits. And that just leaves us behind with all that's been going on here. Uh, second to that, uh, we are uh, pushing forward the, uh, um, the tourism uh, track in the hope that uh, positive things can begin to happen. It's still a very difficult industry to develop because of our uh, isolation. You know, we're literally isolated from all tourism markets, you know, because of our location and, uh, and because of our associations. You know, it just, we're kind of landlocked in a way from, from these things. But uh, that's not to say that, uh, you know, we're uh, excluded from all these. And as far as high-end tourism, are there any plans to develop that? Yes. Um, we believe that that might be the only hope that we have. Uh, because these are tourists that really uh, don't rely on low fares. You know, if they have a place they want to go, they will go, regardless what the fare or how many planes they have to catch to get there. Then we're also looking at, you know, the Asian tourism, but there again, unless we can get charters, you know, it's virtually impossible. Although it's great because uh, until the, you know, the recent uh, downturn in global economies, uh, we were really looking at the potential from China and, uh, and South Korea. But you know, that's kind of now pushed to the back because nobody is talking about that anymore either, anywhere. Okay. And the distant third is we're still looking at a couple of light industry you know, uh, kind of uh, businesses to kind of fill the gap on low wage earners. You know, uh, low wage earners is the kind of thing I want to move away from and move the territory to industries that pay, that do not rely on, on, on minimum wage. And I think it's the only hope we have, you know, such as the, uh, the call centers, you know. And, Although the call centers are moving a bit slow and the developments are a bit slow right now, I believe 
that once you know that is uh, uh, gets underway, you know it should be moving fairly soon. But uh, the problems that we're having in try to find ways to put people back to work in in you know in the very low end of the uh, wage earners is going to be a very very difficult task. All right. Governor, I uh, would thank you again for coming on with us. Uh, we've still got two more segments straight ahead, so stay tuned. You're watching 93KHJ's Island Television 10. Stay tuned.